All right, welcome back, everybody. If this is the mission I think it is, oh, this is going to be a, a lot. The Tyra had retreated again, this time to their headquarters of Yashima. Uh, they were teetering on the brink of destruction. Strangely, Yoritomo did not allow Yoshitsune uh, to immediately press the assault. A rift widened between the brothers. Yoshitsune counseled an immediate attack, but Yoritomo would hear none of it. He even went so far as to transfer leadership of uh, the army to Noriori, another Minamoto. A full year passed, during which time the ambitions of power further corrupted the brothers' relationship. But the reconciling force was uh, Noriori. He made no progress against the Taira. Yoritomo finally realized that there was only one way to finalize his victory. He gave command back to Yoshitsune. The showdown against the Taira had come. Yep. Uh, Antoku, the Taira Emperor, sits in his palace in the city of Yashima to the east. Uh, we shall raise their capital and depose their emperor. The Minamoto clan shall rule this land. Alright, yep. Alright guys, so we have to fight the Tyra here. Got a town here and a town here. And we also have to fight these guys, Yashima, who are in the Imperial Age. We're in the Feudal Age. Uh-huh. Oh, boy. Um, uh, what are the bonus goals? I know there isn't a time one on the... Like, this one? Yeah, okay. Depose Emperor Antoku. Build eight mines. Destroy all enemy mills and farms. Mushu. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Oh, there's a relic over there. This is going to be probably the longest scenario. And it would be the longest video if I'd actually, uh, you know, split them all up each time into one scenario each. And this is the easy campaign. I don't know why they both have to be purple. I know the Tyra have been purple this whole time, but couldn't you make the Emperor, like, something else? Now, I don't think the Emperor attacks us right away. I could be mistaken about that, and we're just in for a very sad time, but I don't think that's the case. Oh, I thought you could make it over here. Oh, that's a mistake. Now that Spearman's gonna get... Completely built, trained, whatever. I mean, is there even anything I can get that's useful? Uh, I mean, we're going to need a market for that. Because I don't think it makes sense to heavily invest in the blacksmith upgrades unless you're, like, you're really going for it in that age. Unless you're, unless you're in Imperial Age, because in Imperial Age definitely get everything you can. Just because they don't affect you, right? Like, all the other upgrades in the game are permanent. So they have a monastery, barracks, stable, and blacksmith. So they can only produce from three of those buildings, but I think they also build castles at some point. Due to the traumatic experiences of my childhood, I, I have at least a, a semi-decent memory of this scenario. Oh, you got this! You got this, little archer! <laughs> it did one damage. <laughs> so I think... The way I'm going to do this, because I'm recording this and it's, what, Saturday? Um, so Monday is going to be the first video in which you would have seen already, I assume. That's the, the first and second scenarios of this campaign. And then Tuesday would be today, if you're seeing this. And then I th think Wednesday would be the last scenario. And then Thursday is uh, the DLC, Victor's and Vanquished. And we're going to jump into that. And hopefully I'll have some special content prepared for that. I'm not too sure, so I can't say anything yet. But I think I might have something a bit special. Oops.
And of course, we're going to play through all of the all of the scenarios. And then it's going to be a matter of I. So the first video, the the first Joan of Arc video, did super well, like way better than I thought it would. And then the second part did horribly. I mean, it was a long video, and I, I get it, right? So depending on how these videos do, because I mean, I'm going to upload this entire campaign no matter what, because well, I'm spending the time doing it. And there's always going to be some freaks out you out there that like this content. Seriously? You couldn't even... <sighs> but whether or not we do the, the rest of the campaigns is just going to be... Is there still going to be interest on the, the far side of uh, Victors and Vanquished? <sighs> yeah, so they, they go on the map and they gather extra resources and whatnot. I mean, we only have two mines, which isn't great. I think there are going to be some more over here. Yeah. If I recall, like, there's a a good spot for a TC over here. Because the map is fairly narrow, right? So I think we might be able to create a couple choke points. Wait, tracking and cartography don't do anything. We This is uh, with full visibility. It is kind of weird that they have some scenarios that are full visibility. I guess that at least gives us more defense on our town center. And some where you have the, the fog of war, and then there's going to be some, I'm pretty sure, that the map is explored, but you can't see everything on it. You know, like you're playing Black Forest in uh, regular AoE 2. Because obviously in uh, every single campaign in the regular game, it's, you, you know, you have to explore the black area. It reveals more of the map. Some more menatoms, and we click up to Castle Age next turn, I think. Now there's something with that wonder. We don't need to destroy it, we just need to destroy the town center. But there's definitely something with that wonder that I'm not remembering that we need to do. I'll figure it out later. There we go. Yeah, Minamoto's probably fine. And just the power boost that we're going to get from being in Castle Age should be an enormous help. Also, I think all the heroes uh, will basically just get stronger when they age up. Like, if they get a stat boost. And I think they hit Castle Age this turn. Yes, they did. Well, so much for that advantage. Oh, Minamoto, don't die. No. They have to move all their units just like one tile every turn, man. All right, build you. This at least puts us on the mountain itself. Oh, and you even one-shot the archers, nice. You aren't actually gonna do a whole lot here, I think. You're probably, eh, well, kinda do something, I guess. Ooh, some jannies. I think they're just, like, extra strong crossbowmen. If I could get a castle up forward, that would be really sick. Because I feel like that could... I could hold against the Emperor's army for quite some time if I do that. Because I, I know for a fact they will attack me eventually. I'm not just going to sit there and wait until I attack them. I think I want a church. Or a monastery, as it's called in some cultures. Oh, there goes the pikeman. And there's a scorpion. That's not great. Emperor's army, if you could give me like another six or seven turns <laughs> before you attack me, that'd be real swell. 
Whoa, lag. And they're dropping castle. Um, no, I want to do this. Go over here. We bring our Janissary to the front lines. We take him down. Seriously, can't kill some bills? You come forward for the castle. Oh, also, I'd like to get some locks. Ooh, I could afford another unit here. What are they making, mostly? Mostly archers, actually. So I don't know if I want more infantry. Whoa, they didn't do anything. Now, all I need is you guys to also not do anything. Eh? I'm getting a little closer, and I don't like it. I think I can fit the castle. Now, it wouldn't be on any mountain tiles. I mean, it would just be in the middle of the plains here. But I think that's worth it. Anyway, there's another entire wheat field I haven't taken yet. So that can be next on the agenda as far as that goes. Oh, not the peasantry! It's always the peasantry, man! Camels! Japan didn't have camels. Oh, no. It'd be really nice if I had a castle there. Could plant some crossbowmen behind it. Or, like, you know, on the, the back tiles of it. Get some samurai going. And I could hold those guys off for a long time while I finish off the Tyra. Well, I mean, these guys are all Tyra, I suppose. But, you know, the other Tyra. Alright. Well, at least I got that town center down. Kind of meant to attack the horse archers, if I'm being completely honest. Um, do I want to build a TC over here? I feel like I kind of do. Anyway, the best spot for a town center would be here. Okay, that way I can start pushing it from the uh, southwest. No, I don't want to merge. At least the Emperor's army doesn't trade any ranged units, because they don't have an archery range, or a siege workshop, or a market. Japan doesn't have camels! Are they trying to attack around? I mean, if even that castle foundation bought me several turns of them just trying to maneuver their army down all the way in the other direction, I mean, I'll take that gladly. I uh, want to get those. Get the relic. Need all the gold income I can get. Minamoto is back to his full Minamotoing. Uh, actually, we need. We can go get that relic as well. Then we can start spamming uh, samurai. That's going to be very good. We're already almost a half hour into this video. Oh man, this is going to be a long, long, long video. I mean, look at all those units I need to push my way through, and they're going to keep on replenishing them. <laughs> No, I don't think actually the any of the enemies have, have infinite resources. Like, they still have to get resources like you do. with the ex Unless they're spawning units in from, like, the side of the map. Booyah! Alright, it's samurai time. 
You can start healing up over here. You can start going to town on those guys. You start healing up over here. No, not merging. We're not trying to get onto off the uh, onto the freeway. For some reason, that mill is the thing that defaults for the Tyra. Maybe it was the first thing that was spawned into the map that wasn't destroyed by me. <laughs> oh, don't get my jannies, man. Oh, oh, the knight survives. I mean, I need to destroy all the enemy units anyway. I'm pretty sure. But part of me just wants to run right past. Like, send a samurai to run right past and start sniping the buildings from uh, Yashima. Might not be a bad idea, actually. No! The knight had survived so long! We need to be careful with Minamoto, though, because we instantly lose if he dies. Uh, I have no resources to research anything. Such is life, I suppose. There we go, the Jannies. Of course. Mm, you're not gonna die on me, Minamoto, right? Because that would be uncool, bro. Yeah, I mean, if they're at their uh, their unit limit, I feel like I can just start sending a samurai in to start taking down uh, those buildings. Because, uh, yeah, the monks there can't even convert anything. Oh! Those are... See, this is why I don't like them both being purple. Like, one's an imp, and these are elite pikemen. And the elite pikemen are indistinguishable from the regular pikemen. Oh, wait. Yeah, the general lack of research is a little concerning. But what can I do? I only, I only have so many resources to play with. Oh, not the peasantry, man. This is such a horribly designed scenario. <laughs> Like, I get you want to have the big epic final boss battle against the Tyra, but this is so slow. <laughs> I mean, I've already spent 37 minutes of my life, and I'm probably not even halfway through this level. In a freaking handheld game. <laughs> Send you back that way, I suppose. Wait. I can only build two TCs? That's so lame. Because, of course, we wouldn't want to make things too easy on me now, would we? Anyway, um... Let's get banking. Oh, rip those archers. They've been with me since the beginning of the game! It's like they have full blacksmith upgrades, too. I guess all I can do at the- All we can do at this point is attempt to bring the Emperor's body to Jerusalem. Or in uh, this case, attempt to get to the Imperial Age. It'd be nice if I get another TC up over here, you know? And of course you can only build as many castles as you have town centers. Right. I mean, we've only gone through 20 turns in 44 minutes. <laughs> and they even took down the Woad Raiders. Also, I'm pretty sure there's never any reason to make swordsmen after you've accessed a samurai as uh, Japanese here. Like, I think samurai are better in literally every way. 
They have more movement speed and the seasoned veteran thing. And as soon as you hit Imperial Age, they'll bump up to 300-300 attack and defense instead of the, uh, oh my goodness, the 250-250 that two-handed swordsmen have. I mean, at least my income's really good. Uh, of all the problems I have, that's at least not one of them. How many more tax do I need? Six more tax? Oh no. Um, let's get Sanctity. Some more range support would be nice here at the top. And we actually hit our unit cap 25. Yeah, at least the monks are doing, or the Minamoto is doing all right. At least we took down the first TC of the Tyra quickly, because it doesn't look like they rebuild their TC. You're not going to die on me, right, Minamoto? Okay, let's get Conscription now. Yeah, Conscription makes her infantry cheaper, because I want to delete the barracks. So I can get an archery range because an imp, the only barracks thing, arena allows you to build champions. That doesn't do a lot. Yeah, Sapphires is at the castle. Yeah. And then I can just delete the barracks and get uh, archer upgrades. Like, there's one, I, I don't know if it's called Heated Shot or some, something like that, uh, but it removes the damage penalty archers and gunpowder units have versus buildings, which is obviously really good. If I didn't block my rams like a doofus, that would have been nice, but, you know, we never get what we want in life, do we? Oh, no, no, no. I feel like if that samurai chooses to attack Minamoto, he dies. All right, thank goodness we saved. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, thank <laughs> thankfully I only had to play back one turn. And notice that we did not move Minamoto from the safety of the castle this time. That's uh, still a lot of... Oh, come on! Not my knight! That's a lot of elite samurai! Oh, man. All right, well, I mean, just as things are looking better over here, they are looking worse in everywhere else. How many bills do I even have left? All right, um... That's something, I suppose. Okay, you come back. Nope. Never lucky, man.
Well, maybe I can finish off one samurai. Right? I mean, that is the last town center of the Tyra. Really? You couldn't even finish off that horse archer? Yeah, long swordsman, better than elite samurai, confirmed. Get some more scorpions, get some more knights. Think we're... No, we actually have another... Oh, uh, we, we need more monks, too. And we need to research... I guess we'll improve our convertibility because, uh, that hasn't gone so well, has it? Seriously? Ugh. Oh, rip that knight. Oh, it somehow survives. I feel like, you know, once we get to Imperial Age, we'll be rocking, but it just takes a long time to get there because we weren't researching on the early turns because we didn't have the resources to do so. More That's a long-range conversion, man. Oh, my goodness. Still, we've cleaned out this area completely. I can't really say this is all bad. At least the spamming samurai technique seems to be one with a fairly high success rate. Once I get these farms down, like the nice thing with farms is that, you know, the mill plus farms is five buildings, right? So that's five areas where you can heal your units. Because, yeah, you can heal units on farms. Resources really aren't an issue for us anymore. It's mostly our tech. Oh, I never got... I didn't get conscription this go-around, whatever. I don't really think that's going to be an issue for us. Yeah, the, the Tyra aren't really the scary ones. It's really just the Emperor's army anymore, or at this point. No! My swordsman! It's been with me since the first turn! Oh, not the peasantry! It's always the peasantry, man. Seriously, you convert my low HP knight? Maybe I can send these berserks forward. Guess you can heal over there. 2 HP. Oh no, he's completely trapped. The last samurai. Just try and hold the line, guys. You can sneak around the back here. And all we need to do is just leave them with one TC, or their, their only TC, right? Can you heal units that are just training? Nope. Oh, let's get another one of you. And we're at our unit cap. All right, next turn, guys, we'll be in Imperial Age. Yeah, didn't expect to be attacked at home, huh, Emperor's Army?
Oh, rip the Zerks. No, that's not gonna go very well for you. <laughs> Don't convert my stuff! <laughs> There we go. Also, let's just get Blast Furnace right away. Yeah, unfortunately, you don't get Heavy Scorpion and whatnot. Like, you don't get... Imperial Age Siege, you have to research for that, and you, they don't even change into them. You have, like, they're, Heavy Scorpions and Scorpions are completely separate units. Which is kind of annoying. You know what? YOLO! <gasps> I got a conversion! I didn't think it was possible! Take out him. Oh yeah, I can't even build Trebs right away. Maybe I should get whatever tech lets me build Trebs and whatnot. I think it's... Yeah, allows Imperial Age Siege units to be trained. I think that's what we want, actually. I'll just get another samurai because that's what we do. <sighs> do uh, oh, the monks healing the monks. Now I feel like we're really going to be making some progress, though. All right. I'm back. I had to take a little bit of a, like, four-hour break. But we're back again. <laughs> eh, this video is going to be edited to heck anyway. You know what? Uh, I need to finish that. No. I guess we could do that. Oh yeah, let's get some trebs. Also, let's pick up Blast Furnace. Oh, yeah, you can't attack into a swamp. Duh. Come on, one HP, really?
All right. Uh, let's get some sea drams going. I think I'll just make another treb after this, though. Well, the Tyra didn't do anything. What just happened? Uh, they got a cavalier on the way. I don't think there's anything I can do to stop that. Oh, almost destroyed. You know, if I didn't mess up that one time and bringing uh, Minamoto a little too far forward, I mean, this would have actually gone pretty well, I think. Trying to remember, what are our bonus objectives again? I think we have to build mines. So let's keep sending this bill forward. I may even want to make another bill. Get plate mail. Depose Emperor and Toku. Um. Oh, I remember. That's what this wonder is for, the Yashima Palace. So I think we destroy this, and then Antoku shows up, and I think he tries to run away. And it's, like, if he gets over here, then, uh, you lose. That's why there's this road over here leading to the ocean. That was it. <laughs> what? Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I thought that was only after you destroyed the frickin'... Oh, no! Ah. I thought that was only after we destroyed the thing. Oh, um. Oh, well, should have done that first. That no, doesn't matter anyway. Go after that or something. Winnie, 
I don't know if converted units benefit from upgrades. I mean, if it's like regular AV2, then the answer would be no. But I don't know if this is different. I don't think I can kill him. He has wonders have like a bajillion armor, you know, give or take two or three. Goodness. Yeah, because once he gets to the ship, he he's gone. He's done and dusted. All right. I'll be back. What turn is this? I don't know. Okay, I think I set myself up slightly better. I have over a thousand defense against these Cavalier Gs. All right. I can't even reach him. This is all on hills. All right, all right. I think we got him. I think we got him. Oh man, I had to redo like the last couple turns like three or four times. And uh, that's not very fun. And then I just need to destroy some mills and mines and stuff. And I'll basically be good to go. Uh, villager is over there. Just need to build a couple more mines. Antoku here is going to move over to this tile, and then the next turn he goes onto the ship. And I'll easily do enough damage to uh, kill him. All right, let's just back that up. All right, moment of truth, kids. An emperor cannot allow himself to be imprisoned. With my dying breath, I curse the house of Minamoto. Master, the emperor has thrown himself into the ocean. He has drowned. And <laughs> no, <laughs> I love what, it's what eight exclamation marks. <laughs> oh my goodness, no! Oh, that's great. Alrighty. Man, that was tough. There is so much editing I need to do for this video. Like, the raw footage of this, guys, is probably around two hours long. And I've played this over the course of a couple days. Just because, you know, ain't nobody got time to do it all at once. Oh yeah, flame arrow, flaming arrows. Range units don't get a damage penalty versus buildings. I hope I don't need to destroy... Wait. Build eight mines and destroy all enemy mills and farms. Okay. Oh man, the samurai is the hero. I think it's because I didn't need to walk over this hills because the, uh, the wonder was entirely on hills.
Can't even take out a vill. Come on, two-handed swordsman. You've been in 33 battles ever since you were a little itty-bitty men-at-arm. Oh, I was gonna say, if that guy builds a mine, I would be so salty. Anyway, I think this is probably... Nope, not attack. Okay, build eight mines. There we are. And that should be the last farm. Any mills and farms. Maybe we don't get it until the scenario is over. Because I am going to scour this map. Oops. Wait a minute, is there something to the far north of the map that I missed? Huh. It, uh, it says there's a resource here on the mini map, but I don't see one. That's weird. Hmm, why does it act like there's a building there? Okay, we're gonna save this one more time. All right, Minamoto, 56 battles. <laughs> okay, yeah, we got it. Oh my goodness. We did it, guys. We beat Yashima. Watch this video get like 2,000 views <laughs> in a week. Oh my goodness, that was such a grind. Oh, look at that max eco score. As elusive as a magician, the Tyra Emperor had evaded capture many times, but his amazing escapes were at an end. The remaining Tyra fled to boats on the inland sea, and at Don no Ura, a great sea battle was fought. Although outnumbered, the Tyra fought hard, as they were experienced in naval tactics. At the last, they were betrayed by one of their own generals and were ultimately defeated. The Tyra clan's bid for control of Japan was at an end. Yoritomo was conferred the title of Shogun, the first of the Kamikura Shogunate line, which would last for nearly 150 years. He owed a debt of gratitude to his mighty general and brother, Yoshitsune, without whom the victories would have never been earned. Alright guys, last Minamoto scenario, Mongol invasion. We'll see you next time for that.